of town this weekend and uh, catch a flight. Obviously, the airport's shutting down and uh, from Orlando all the way across the state. And uh, Sarasota Brainton, not actually one of those involved in that, they shut down as well, but also had some extensive damage. We want to go out to Annie Mapp, who's live at Sarasota Brainton, and you have actually have an interview for us with the CEO of that airport. What's the latest there? Josh, Dan, good morning. There is a lot of damage right now. I'm standing at the departure at the departures for American Airlines, also JetBlue. Just take a look at the structure. It looks like it came off from the roof of this drop-off lane. Now, right now, I have President and CEO of the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport, Rick Piccolo. Rick, just sort of talk about the damage that you guys have seen here. Yeah, the, the biggest part is obviously this here. We had a center section of the roof over the ticketing area blow off uh, late yesterday afternoon, around 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, had a lot of water intrusion into the ticketing area, so uh, we've been taking all the ceiling down because uh, it pre presents a danger to people if they're in there. Uh, we hope to have everything uh, cleaned up and, and, and uh, removed in the ticket area and open Friday. Uh, we'll be working on roof repairs. It's, it's basically a membrane roof and a section of that membrane came off and that's when all the water came in. Uh, luckily we had all the computers and everything covered. Uh, we were prepared for water. Uh, but we weren't counting quite on, on this, uh, this big a, a problem. Now, I know like Tampa International Airport, you guys also had some crews that rode out the hurricane here at SRQ. Yes, we had uh, we have police, fire, uh, maintenance people, operations people here. Uh, and so uh, we all rode it out, uh, hoping, hoping that we wouldn't need to do this. Uh, the crews are taking a little rest right now because they worked till about midnight to keep working on this cleanup. And uh, they'll be back up this morning. And as I said, we'll have some more people hopefully coming in and then uh, try to get all these repairs and cleanup done today and tomorrow and be operational for flights uh, Friday. You know, it sounds like a lot of work will go into this cleanup process today. We took a look inside of that, you know, ticket yeah. counter of American and JetBlue, and there's a lot of water on the ground. You're saying that water came from the ceiling? Yes, it came through the ceiling. Once the roof uh, membrane blew off in the center there, a lot of water came through the ceiling. So we've taken down most of the ceiling tiles and, and structure above it uh, because a lot of it was falling down anyway. We removed a lot of water, but there's still uh, uh, some water in there that we'll remove today. Now that the rain has stopped, it was just a constant battle to keep up with it. And uh, uh, like I said, later today we should have most of this stuff removed and we'll start working on getting the roof at least temporarily repaired so that that's taken care of. Uh, luckily, we shouldn't have any rain now for a few days. And uh, we'll, we'll try to be back up and operational as fast as possible. Now, I know I saw on Twitter that at one of your hangars there was also some sort of damage. Could you sort of talk about that? I haven't seen that yet. I know there was some damage at some hangars uh, of, of some of the, the siding or whatever coming off. I don't think it was extensive, but it was some damage over there. But I haven't had a chance to go out on the whole airfield. We've really been concentrating on this. I don't think there's much other damage here. Uh, if we hadn't had the roof... Uh, go last night, then uh, we wouldn't have had much, much but minor damage here. Rick, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank Again, you. this morning we are following damage here at the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport, Deanne and Josh, and we'll be following other damage throughout the area later this morning. All right, Andy Back Matt, to you. live for us tonight or this morning.